scoliosis is a unique condition in that it's a curve that develops in the spine, but it develops mostly during the growing years, especially the adolescent growth spurt. Idiopathic scoliosis is scoliosis that occurs in otherwise healthy kids. So most patients aren't born with scoliosis, and we call it idiopathic, and that means we just don't know exactly what the cause is, but we know how to treat it pretty well, and we know kind of the history of it, that if you start with a curve at age 10, it generally will progress during your adolescent growth spurt, and then once you finish adolescent growth, it tends to, the progression tends to slow down or maybe even stop. It occurs probably in about two and a hundred people. Um, the vast majority of scoliosis does not progress and get worse. Now, if you have a small curve that stays below 25 degrees, you really don't need any treatment at all, just observation. And then once you're done growing, it usually will stay in a very small range and won't bother you the rest of your life. And we follow those kids uh, through maturity to make sure that the curves aren't getting worse. Uh, not all patients who reach skeletal maturity with a fairly large curve remain stable. Uh, the ones that uh, continue to progress at a very slow rate, it happens, uh, usually doesn't happen over months or a couple of years, it happens over a period of a decade or two decades. And patients uh, are in their 20s and 30s, uh, many of them end up needing uh, surgery for their severe deformity, whether it's scoliosis or kyphosis, Sherman's kyphosis. Um, so, you know, we're trying to develop this uh, adult pro deformity program where uh, we treat young adults with uh, severe deformities who, uh, can, uh, who previously were not being treated at Cincinnati Children's because once they reach the age of 21, uh, they typically left the institution and gone elsewhere. So we're trying to develop this program where they, we keep those patients and uh, continue to follow them. And if they continue to progress or develop pain or symptoms, we can treat them also. Then the curves that get up into sort of the 25 to 40 degree range of curve, that's just a curve that looks like an S as you're looking at the patient or looking at their back. When it gets to 25 to 40 degrees, then we recommend treatment. We generally think you need surgery to correct your spine when it gets to be in the 40 to 60 degree range. One of the things I think with the spine center is we'll be trying to look at ways to improve the kind of surgery we do, though the surgery we do frankly works very, very well. It's a good idea if a patient has a significant deformity, uh, it, they should probably get an x-ray every three to five years just to make sure things aren't gradually progressing. I don't think once they've reached skeletal maturity, I don't think they need x-rays yearly. Uh, just to limit the amount of x-rays we expose them to. But uh, every five years I think is reasonable. 